Hello and welcome everyone. I am Andrew Trepin and I work on operating systems and programming languages and do a lot of free and open source software along the way. Today we will be talking about go to definition in Guile and how we can slightly improve it. As many of you probably know, a few months ago uh, we made uh, a Guile ID which client server uh, based and it has a guile part which is guile rs rs and uh, this thing provides all the necessary information evaluation capabilities and other stuff and client part which is part which is written in emacs and recently nikita uh, implemented lookup operation which allows uh, to do go to definition so let's take a look at it and let's take a look, uh, a look at the ways how we can improve it. So first of all, let's start our NREPL server. As you can see, it started uh, on the non-default port and to connect to it, I will use a universal argument and we'll, we'll type the port here. Okay, we connected here. Now, uh, what can I do? I can evaluate the whole buffer. Uh, I do it with Ctrl C, Ctrl K. You can see it at the top of the screen. And after that, I can uh, point to any interesting um, identifier and uh, type press uh, xref find definitions, I guess, xref find yeah find definitions but it doesn't work for macro for example but if i go to chain add it will jump to to the syntax for chain add and uh, what is important here uh, we can also go not only to our source code but also to the source code defined in libraries or in the guile itself and here you can see we are in the guile source code which is installed in GNU store and uh, even here we still can jump to definitions and go further and we can go back of course this is possible due to two things first one is lookup operation which returns the information that is used for xref and the second one is uh, friendly session uh, for Sessman which uh, keeps the correspondence between the connection and the current buffer and if the uh, current buffer uh, points to a file which is uh, in load pass the all functionality all REPL functionality will be available here um, so this thing implemented by other operation called load pass ideas load pass which is defined uh, here and it's quite simple it just goes through the load pass and re re returns its value and on the client side we can understand if uh, this buffer uh, and the related file is related to our project or not Okay, so what's wrong with uh, lookup uh, symbol? You probably saw that um, go to definition works, works very well and we can uh, jump back and forth and we can uh, jump inside related files. But for example, for display, uh, it doesn't work. And uh, for simple, symbols uh, i don't know uh, tmp symbol for example one two three and let's evaluate it and let's use it uh, somewhere here plus tmp symbol three uh, it will say no definitions found for it but in reality uh, we know at least where the uh, symbol itself defined in, in which model Actually, the whole lookup operation uh, based on the 
program source value of the program or macro because the information about location attached to uh, a variable not to the information uh, to, to the uh, not to the symbol not to the meta information of the symbol so uh, only location of uh, lambdas or uh, functions or programs can be fetched uh, from uh, the variable but uh, for the symbols we don't have such information but at least we know where the symbol is defined in which model so at least we can jump uh, in such cases to the model instead of uh, saying that there is no uh, definitions find uh, found for this symbol uh, here we have a few to do's that I wrote today and let's start from a simple refactoring first of all let's uh, move some functionality uh, to separate functions uh, first one will be extracting this function here it relies only on var value so it should be enough to do so var src of var uh, what is happening here uh, a propose fault returns uh, uh, iterates over all uh, the definitions all the symbols that match regular expression and uh, on each iteration we have model name symbol name and the value of the symbol and our cumulative value uh, which is false by default and uh, the next iteration is done by this approx uh, fold accessible function uh, so we iterate over all accessible symbols in our model uh, okay we split it uh, out our var to src function very good now let's uh, also split the function which ah, uh, how the src value looks like let's add uh, a simple print and let's see how it looks let's evaluate this Think the cup symbol display for display. Oh, okay, we, we need namespace as well. Current model for display it returns false, but for let it returns the thing. Very good, very nice. Uh, and here we see how uh, the location the, the, the src value looks like so uh, for cases where we don't have a location information for variable we can just uh, create our own location using model uh, and model file name but before that let's move this one to a separate function as well define src to info and here is src looks looks good right okay uh, src to info from src very good we accomplished those two to those uh, let, let, let's check that everything works I will restart and REPL I will connect to it one more time let's evaluate and let's go to definition still works very good very nice now let's add a model file name fallback 
So when uh, we can't fetch SRC information or location information from variable itself, uh, we can try to get at least location information, uh, uh, at least a model uh, file name. But uh, if we have model, we get model location. Of course, we need to define model uh, model location procedure model location. Okay, and model. Good. Uh, how it will look like? It will be a simple list which contains zero at the beginning. After that, it should be model file name of model and zero zero. First zero is line number. The second zero is column number. Uh, good. Let's see. We have display and. Uh, no definitions found for the display because there is no information about display procedure. Uh, what else doesn't have uh, information? Oh, uh, our simple TMP symbol, TMP symbol, let's define it. TMP symbol value, okay, and uh, look up symbol tmp symbol current model of course M model uh, it returns false for now but let's evaluate it and now it returns a proper location you can see that it returns line number equal to one. It is because uh, source line for user function actually increases line number by one because lines in Guile are zero based or zero indexed and in text editors, they usually uh, one indexed. Cool, uh, we know that it works. Oh, um, to demonstrate what is actually happening, uh, I will do debug output so you can understand uh, what is happening here. A propos fault iterates over all available sim symbols that match the regexp, uh, this one. And it has model, uh, symbol name, and uh, symbol value. And here you can see that TMP symbol has a value equal to one, three, uh, two, and we don't have any meta information about this value. So we just use the information about model and returns its model. Uh, okay. It it looks good. Uh, now let's let's commit commit the changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, look up. Add a model file name fallback. So in case we don't have information about location, we, we, we fall back to model file name. Extensions Okay, and now let's let's do an early return. Early return needed because, uh, as you can see here, 
uh, we iterated over three three symbols that matched uh, the re regular expression but we don't actually need it we need only one uh, o only first one matching actually maybe we can construct just a reg regular expression which doesn't ma match those ones should be possible symbol to string what if we do string append uh, like this oops and now when we trade doesn't match anything oh Oh, probably the gex code. What it does it? It takes a string, string for each, lambda, blah, blah, blah. Case. Var char. Right char. Mm -hmm. To port. Okay, it worked, but the uh, gap quote we need the gap quote because we can uh, have fancy symbol names. Uh, but what we can do here? We can uh, take this thing and put it inside <coughs> like this. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so it seems it seems to work nicely without without any fancy early returns. Yeah, it se seems like a good solution. Because early return uh, is fun to implement. We will use delimited continuations. We will wrap everything in a delimited continuation and will uh, jump out of our fault iteration and return a value earlier but this is solution is much simpler and actually much easier to understand for people who will be uh, contributing or further maintaining uh, or whatever do with this code so i think we will keep this solution what about team p okay look up symbol good <laughs> let's add a comment instead of Early return, we just wrap regexp in to exactly match 
In case it's not a perfect solution, uh, we will we always can implement it with early return uh, later. Okay. <coughs> Wrap. Simple regexp this mm. <coughs> exactly match symbol for lookup. Okay. Mm. Sounds good. Let's check how it works. I will restart REPL. We'll connect to it like this. And now we define TMP symbol 1, 2, 3. Evaluate the buffer. And here we have the symbol. And go to definition jumps to the beginning of our file. It is at least something. Very nice, very good. You can see that current model is defined here. Hmm. Current model. How it's defined? Okay, let's let's find some other example. A sock ref. It also not defined anywhere. Hook up. I want I want something something that is symbol but defined in some other model. Uh, what oh load pass for example. Load pass. Okay. And here we can see Uh, load pass it's probably a variable which defines somewhere else had to find example before head but okay define let uh, let with syntax syntax case okay all those things are lambdas What is not lambda? Okay, let, let's create the example uh, by ourselves. Let's make it uh, define public. Okay, let's relate this model and go to load pass and here let's let's write a uh, plus team p symbol and it says no definition found for it but if we do use models areas extensions uh, lookup lookup uh, and REPL extensions okay and REPL extensions lookup 
and now it jumps uh, to look up file very good very nice works as expected cool so now we can push all that stuff to the repository Okay, I think we've done with our today task. There are much more cool things that are possible now with Guile ID. And we can implement a lot of it. And it will work much more reliable and much faster and also asynchronously but for today I think it should be enough to demonstrate uh, the power of an Repola architecture I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in a bit bye